In this video, I am going to find integral dx over square root of 16 minus x squared by using the trig substitution. For x, I am going to substitute here for sine of theta. Why am I using for sine of theta? Let's look at the denominator, which is square root of 16 minus x squared. If I make x equal to 4 sine of theta, then the denominator becomes very nice and simple. So let's go ahead and look at it. 16 minus x squared is equal to square root of 16 minus 4 sine of theta whole square, which is square root of 16 minus 16 sine square of theta that is equal to square root of 16 times 1 minus sine square of theta that I could further simplify to square root of 16 times square root of 1 minus sine square of theta is cosine square of theta because sine square of theta plus cosine square of theta is equal to 1. So if you solve for cosine square of theta, you get 1 minus sine square of theta. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of cosine square of theta is cosine of theta. So square root of 16 minus x square becomes something simple for cosine of theta. Now let me go ahead and take derivative of x equal to 4 sine of theta with respect to theta. So it's going to be dx over d theta is equal to 4 cosine of theta. Why cosine of theta? Because derivative of sine of theta with respect to theta is cosine of theta. Then if we solve for dx, kind of, we get 4 cosine of theta d theta. All right. So that's my dx. Now, I could take these values and plug into the original integral. So dx equal to this, which is 4 cosine of theta d theta and square root of 16 minus x square is equal to 4 cosine of theta. So I divide it by 4 cosine of theta. Now this 4 cosine of theta and 4 cosine of theta cancel out. That gives me integral d theta. But integral d theta is nothing but theta plus some constant, arbitrary constant. I did not have theta in the problem, so I need to go back to x, right? Our assumption was that x is equal to 4 sine of theta, or I could solve for sine of theta, which is equal to x over 4. Then theta is equal to sine inverse x over 4. Now I take this theta and plug it in right here. So if I do that, my integral becomes dx over square root of 16 minus x square is equal to theta plus c, right? Theta plus c, but theta is equal to this. So that's going to be sine inverse of x over 4 plus some arbitrary constant c. So the integral of dx over square root of 16 minus x square is this, which is sine inverse of x over 4 plus some arbitrary constant c. Now I'd like to add one more point here. You could have done the following substitution for x. x is 4 cosine of theta. This would have worked just fine. You would need to just follow the exact same process that I followed here for x equal to 4 sine of theta. You should be able to get a final answer, which would be slightly different format than what you've got here. Instead of sine inverse something, you're going to get um, negative cosine inverse x over 4 plus c. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.